welcome to our first episode. The show is called Best News Ever Podcast. My name is Sam O. Tina Ryan here. Big day today. Massive. First episode of any show, you know, kind of a big deal. We'll just get right to it. We are now part of a church called Shinchanji Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony, which I know is a mouthful. Yes, it is. And name. honestly, in the beginning, I couldn't even pronounce it properly when we were, we were doing the narrow door. You've come a long way. Well, what yeah. do you know? I am now a member. Yes, we both are. Okay, so just to give everyone a brief backgrounder, Tina and I knew each other for a really long time. We were in radio together, and mm -hmm. then we started doing this podcast together called the Narrow Door Podcast, which was happening during the pandemic we were all home everything was being done online uh. we definitely reconnected as friends not mm. just colleagues mm. and then we went on this faith journey together because we decided to take the theology course that shinchenji was offering shinchenji was one of the churches that were um, on the podcast with us on the panel yeah. yeah and we finished the course i did it twice and you're on your second time already High now. Hey. Uh -oh. I'm on my second time yeah. because there's still a lot for me to uh, learn and understand. And I don't think it ever. I don't comes think it will ever end. A, but all that to say, yes, we are starting this podcast as members of Shinchanji Church. So I guess the best thing to do on the first episode is to just explain to everyone. Break what kind down, of church. yo. Yes. Chica, okay. chica, break it down. Go ahead. Right. The name. As you said earlier, you struggled with it a little bit. I suppose if you're not Korean, it does sound like it's some a mouthful. random yeah. made up word, uh -huh. right? Did it did, is that what it sounded For to me you? the first oh yeah, the first few times I was I would try to say the word Shinchunji yeah. in our old podcast, nabubulol ako. Totoo. And I guess it's short for It's an abbreviated form of Shinchan Shinji, which is Korean for new heaven and new earth. Mm -hmm. It's a biblical name. It is the name found in Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And then the second part of the name is Church of Jesus, meaning the owner of this church is, is Jesus. Jesus. And then the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. So that is also in the Bible, Revelation chapter 15, verse 5. It is prophesied to be the part the church, rather, where all nations will come to worship. Mm -hmm. This is where the testimony of the fulfillment of the prophecies in the book of Revelation are being testified. Now, for some of you, mm. it might be a little, what? I know prophecy, testimony, fulfillment. That's how I felt for sure. We when I first will heard it. slowly, um, if I may use the term, guide everyone. We or can share, we like can what share we've our learned. experiences yeah. and what we've learned in class mm -hmm. because it's still, it's still mind blowing every time I sit. And uh, during our class, there's mm -hmm. always like something new that's going to blow me away yeah. about the teaching. Yeah. You know, so It's like when you read a book, any book. The first time you read it, the level of understanding is at a certain level. And mm -hmm. then the second time you read it, you, you find new things uh -huh. in the same book. Uh -huh. You know, it's that kind of thing, I suppose. But of course, the Bible being the word of God, I mean, imagine the depth that's in that. Uh, and uh, how it, you'll... It's too deep. It's so deep that I didn't want to, I barely opened it at, you know, this age. <laughs> That's so true, though. Like prior to doing this Bible class, right? I think we all probably have a Bible somewhere in uh -huh. our homes. But did you ever really open the thing? It was probably collecting dust somewhere. Uh, first fact, uh. Sam always the very first person to give me my uh, Bible. Uh -huh. My first Bible ever. You know. And we have matching Bibles. I know. Okay, this is turning into a love fest, which yeah, is fine. But, but, you know, we have more time It's for love that. fest for the word. Yeah. yeah. So Speaking of, yeah, I think that was a really good way to put it. Um, you know, I think in Shinchanji, like, the word is really above everything else. When you go to the service, the mm. worship service, it's centered around the word. Um, we're constantly talking about the word and trying to deepen our understanding of the word, which again is why we're doing the classes mm -hmm. again. And we're trying to share it with other people because God is the word, is what the Bible says. So in order to know God, then you have, have to have know, know the word. his word. Uh -oh. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about how one becomes a part of this church, right? The Bible courses that we mentioned earlier. You have to enroll in the, the class, which is free. It's being offered for free. Mm -hmm. It's uh, actually, before the pandemic, we had 
Bible, but we had physical centers naman talaga. We did. We did. It was every, well, there's one in uh, here, in Mandalu, uh, in Pasig. I mean, all over the yeah, world, all over. really, yeah. I mean, no, I was talking about kasi in the Philippines. So, pre-pandemic, we had the Bible centers, physical Bible centers, and then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. And so, we came up with the CZM. Scion Christian Mission, Mission Center. Center. CCMC, There right. you go. So, so naging virtual lahat. Which I think happened to everyone. Uh -uh. All the churches or whatever, even events were mm. host. So uh -uh. all the events that we were doing shifted online. So the classes also shifted, shifted online. online. Uh -uh. Which is why we took it online. Please stop me from saying online. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stop. I'll stop. I'll stop, right. Right. I'll stop you right there. <laughs> but basically, yes, you have to go through the Bible theology course that the church offers. Which is about six to eight months. Right. So, off the bat, it's really all about commitment. It was a commitment. And siguro for us, we were fortunate because it was the pandemic. We weren't really doing anything. Yes. Parang it was like, oh, yay, something oh, oh. that we can do regularly. Kill and, time, oh, diba? Oh. Pero kasi now that... Uh, Things are opening oh, up. Oh, I mean, it's it's really tough for some people. And I, I yeah, I like I was telling you, was it yesterday or the other day? Nah, we were just very fortunate that we were given this understanding at the time, you know, when we didn't really have much choice but to stay in. Right. It was like God was saying, oh, don't oh, go na anywhere. Jan lang kayo. Anak mag-aral na kayo, <laughs> diba? Wala. Wala naman kayong choice. Hindi naman kayo pwede lumabas, diba? Ganun na lang. Yeah. Oh. So, I think that's also a unique thing about Shinshanji is like, we don't invite people to church. It's like, hey, would you like to study Bible? Would you like to know what it is that we're sharing? And mm -hmm. then after na natapos mo siyang lahat, mag-decide ka na. You know, do you think this is true? Do you think this aligns with everything that is in the Bible? Yeah. Would you now like to be part of the church uh -uh. if you think this is all true? Hindi naman po kami panuwersa. Ako, sa totoo lang. Hindi naman ako tinutuwa na, oh, alika na. Tapos ka na sa Bible study mo. Hindi. I mean, I think down the line, when did you know? When did I know what? When did you know that you were kind of, I was kind of leaning towards the teachings already. Uh-huh. I think on, before I graduated. Okay. Before we graduated. Oh, naman. Parang, mm. I think by the time you graduate, like you're quite solid already with uh, everything that you've heard. Um, intermediate, the start of like middle of intermediate class. Oh, let's, let's explain. Okay, so, sorry. Okay, going no, 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 back. No, it's okay. Oh. But let's, you know, give them a better idea of like these terms that we're using, uh -oh. right? So, so the first, uh, the first, kasi parang three batches, diba? Three levels. Three levels. So uh -oh. the first level, they, they break it down to the, the, the parables and the figurative uh, language so in the that's Bible. So the introductory oh, level. Oh, the introductory level. Yeah. And then intermediate is the Bible uh, stories ba ang tawag doon? Parang, ba? so the the introductory is when you parang build a vocabulary, right? Yes. Because uh -oh. there's figurative language in the Bible. Uh -oh. So you learn on the par all the parables. And then when you go to intermediate, it's like they show you all the storylines in the Bible. Uh -uh. I don't know about you, but before doing the study, I thought parang these stories in the Bible were isolated People who I don't know for some <laughs> reason my moral, oh, oh, my moral yung kwento nila, and then it will help me in my faith life. Uh -uh. But I think once mm -hmm. you go through the intermediate lessons, you realize na ah, okay, parang connected pa uh -oh. lahat to. And then the <laughs> exciting part, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. revelation. Yes. Yeah, don medyo parang whoa. Uh, dito na ako medyo na ano na. I don't even know the. Were you sold? Parang ganon. Hindi naman hindi sold eh. Yung parang super blown away mm. to I don't know to the first I know <laughs> realm of <laughs> the clouds up there. But like Parang I mean, about nung parables palang, we were like, oh wow. Oh yeah, I mean, the introductory favorite ko talaga, uh, diba? Yeah. But like the revelation is something else, and. I remember when you invited me to be like the, on the very first uh, episode of The Narrow Door as co-host. Uh -huh. Revelation talaga yung diniscuss na. <laughs> <laughs> Back out na talaga ako. Hindi, and then like, diba I was telling you guys, so parang, I sort of like uh, watched a bit of YouTube and read, you know, whatever I can mm. read about. And I was, I was so scared yeah. of Revelation. And I think that's a common 
thing that we hear because we would have guests on the show and every time we would ask them about have you read the book of revelation uh-huh. what are your thoughts on the book of revelation their answers were generally "Ooh, i don't read it oh, or scary. because it's scary uh-huh. or i have read it and i don't like it uh-huh. i hope none of this happens in my lifetime you know that kind of thing because uh-huh. nga nakakatakot yung nakasulat dun sa revelation but then after we have gone through this course we realize now that oh okay revelation is a book of prophecy it's written in figurative language uh-huh. So it's not to be taken literally, but then not everyone, and this is stuff that we will unpack as we go along, uh-huh. but the understanding of the events that are supposed to happen is given to a person. So we have an upcoming episode on that as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that revelation is, ugh, I think it's, it sh- you shouldn't be scared of it. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a, a beautiful chapter. I mean, it's a beautiful book. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's what CCMC uh, will teach you. Right. So why the stress on prophecy and fulfillment? Because, you know, we've said that a few times already. And because Jesus himself said, you know, in John 14, verse 29, like, I have told you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you you will will believe. believe. So the prophecies in the Bible are put there by God because there will come a time Na, that God will fulfill po this. Niya yan. Yeah. And I know many times you said it, Instructor Harry said it, Instructor Abby said it. Um, these are our instructors from CCMC. Wala pong ipinapangako ang Diyos na hindi niya tinutupad. Uh-uh. So, and, and it's that's all a in the Bible. Yeah, it's, it's a characteristic of God. Like He's not going to promise something that He's not going to fulfill. He's not a liar. Mm-hmm. And He's not human. I mean, we make promises all the time and oh then we gosh. fail. <laughs> Ilang beses na po akong nangakong ipinako. Ay! <laughs> <laughs> but not God, uh-huh. right? Anyway, okay. So, how do you think your faith life has changed since you've gone through Did this you call? Please? <laughs> <laughs> no, just um, to wrap our first episode my um i'm very new to this faith journey and this is not easy to begin with and there are you, times you parang, like the faith life itself oh or yeah studying, the or faith like, life itself uh, and if you really want to live up to god's standards diba? because i guess i guess as humans um akala natin mabuti ay tama na yung mabuti tayong tao na hindi tayo okay sabi natin ni mga uh, kasalanan na talagang hindi na pinapatawa di mga pumapatay tayo nagnanako tayo oo sapat na hindi tayo gumagawa ng ganun diba mm. pero hindi nga standard standard lang pala natin yun ah uh, okay so diba? the standard for your faith nag oo oo uh. and um i probably won't be able to explain it on my own but i think um my family was the first one. My my mom was the first one to see the changes. Oh, yeah, so see the changes. You, def- you like you manifested something to the people around you. Oh like yeah. How this, oh yeah. The teachings that you were receiving has been changing you as a person. Yeah, like and I think also in general, it helps when you're doing this journey, any journey, with somebody who parang same boat ba kayo? You and me. Yeah, on the same boat. Oh, oh. Yeah. so it's like. I couldn't pick a better friend to do to be doing this. Making love fest guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but you know what? You know what? But you know what I mean. It's okay, like no. if I anytime I feel like I'm struggling, it's it's and if and we're we're given this understanding, the ba through mm-hmm. this church, it's a uh, iba na yung iba na yung galawan eh. Hindi na basa basa galawang breezy. Hindi na tawag ni Sam Sam YG de ba galawang breezy. Ibang ibang level na tung galawan natin yun. Right, right. Mas breezier. <laughs> I don't think I ever lived a faith life feeling like I wow. I think I really understand what God is trying to fulfill mm. or what He has mm. been working on. And what do these things in the Bible mean? For me, what does it have to do with me today? Mm-hmm. But when I look at, for me, when I look in the Bible, goodness, these people live like thousands of years ago. Life was so different then. Uh-huh. You know, what would they know about life today? Uh-huh. Yung but then I see now how, okay, this is all connected and it affects me today fully. Mm-mm. Fully. And I know now what to do with that stuff. And also just 
what kind of faith is God looking for at this time? Yeah. Parang di ba per, per era in the Bible, medyo iba. Iba yung uh-uh. what faith looked like. Uh-uh. And so, I guess the point being, it's a lot clearer to me now what kind of faith is the faith that is aligned to God and what He's looking for and in the time we are living in today. Oo. Tsaka isang standard na lang po yung tinitignan na, namin natin ngayon. It's the Word of God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never even thought I'd be reading, opening the Bible every day. I mean, there are times I would miss. I mean, I'm just human. I mean, like, and I apologize. I would pray. Oh my gosh, and I pray. <laughs> I pray. Like, I, I, you know, there were times, I think that, yun yun, is the biggest change uh-huh. coming into Nag-dada this faith and, and to, to, I uh, know, coming into Shinshinji. Uh-huh. Nag-dada, <laughs> nag-dada what was your prayer life like before? Oh my gosh, parang genie si God. Ah, yung humihingi ka na lang oh, ng kung ano-ano. Oh, like God, bigay mo na siya sa akin. Or bigay mo na to sa akin. <laughs> Mga ganun. Love life. Oh, oh, love life. I mean, or, not that I haven't prayed for that, obviously. Worldly I mean, things. You know, yeah. you know, like, Lord, bigay mo na to, promise. Pag binigay mo to, gan- parang mga ganun. Ang babaw. That's true. I, I think my prayers also changed a lot. Yung mga hinihingi mo in oh, prayer. Oh. Uh, and like when I used to pray, parang standard na para sa lahat. Pero ng- ngayon parang I I know there's still ano parang nagayin na lang natin sa la- grade grade one two three ganon. Parang mm. baka ngayon nasa grade six na yung level ng prayer praying ko. <laughs> Sana Dati baka high school na tayo. Hindi <laughs> 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 ikaw high school ka na. Really, the point of this episode was announce that yes, best mm. news ever podcast. Sam O, Tina Ryan, Shinshiti Church of Jesus. It's where, you know, people gather, people who believe in Jesus, trying to live a life of faith, aligned with the teachings of Jesus. And we're going to share our experiences, what the church teaches. I'm sure many people have questions. And don't forget that we offer free Bible studies. You can sign up. Okay, here, here. Okay, can you guys please visit BiblePrayerConnection.com? Yeah. So information you need classes some introductory classes that again might that's... Get you started are on their biblepreyerconnection.com there is also an english youtube channel for shinchanji mm-hmm. right um so all the lessons and seminars are there if you guys want to just check it out on your own and look at the whole thing yourself you everything's can do that. out of the open yeah Mm-mm. and then if you guys want to get in touch with us and please do Yay. best news ever podcast at gmail.com again that's best news ever podcast at gmail.com thank you so much for joining us today on this first episode and we'll see you again next time bye bye